Welcome back to the American Diabetes Association's 74th Scientific Session. I'm Rhonda Anderson in San Francisco at the Moscone Center. This year, we are so proud to recognize the first round of award recipients to the Association's bold new initiative, Pathway to Stop Diabetes. This research program funds emerging researchers in the field of diabetes study. Pathway to Stop Diabetes provides critical support to researchers who are using innovative ideas and new approaches to the field of diabetes study so we can ultimately stop this disease. Scientists from this program are either brand new in their diabetes research careers or having established themselves in other fields of study have decided that they want to devote more of their time to diabetes and we're so glad that they have. I'm so excited to welcome another of our award recipients today, Dr. Stephen Parker from the National Human Genome Research Institute in Bethesda, Maryland. Welcome. It's great to meet you. Thanks for having me, Rhonda. Congratulations so much for your award. What does it mean receiving this type of funding? Oh, this is just an, such an incredible honor to receive this. I feel so lucky. It's uh, putting me in touch of a network with other fantastic senior scientists that are part of the ADA Pathway Mentoring Committee and a group of other fantastic awardees. I'm just uh, so honored. And, and that's one of the critical, unique aspects of the program, an opportunity for collaboration and mentorship. How has that accelerated your research? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, as an early career scientist like myself, mentorship and opportunities for collaboration are critical things to kickstart a high impact career. And so the, the, the getting this award has already started that. I've, I've met a few of the folks from the mentoring committee already. In particular, one of them, Chris Newgard, have already started a collaboration. We've written a, a pilot proposal that I think is going to generate some high impact results. So I'm very excited by that. And you could have gone into any field, I'm sure. What inspired you to pursue diabetes research? Yeah, so there's kind of three things. Number one is this is a huge problem uh, for public health, right? And I'd like to be one of the people that's contributing to solving this disease. Number two, it's an incredibly complicated genetic and genomic disease, which really sparks my scientific interest. It gets me going. And then number three, there's a family history, so I'd like to contribute to that as well. Well, we know that all diabetes is genetic, and type 2 in particular has a strong genetic link. Your research focuses on mapping the changes in DNA code associated with type 2 diabetes and studying how these variations cause the disease. So what's unique and innovative about your approach? Yeah, so, so if you look at the genetics of type 2 diabetes, uh, a, a lot of these genome-wide association studies, or GWAS, that are telling you where the genetic susceptibility is encoded are saying that it's not in the genes or in the protein coding regions. Instead, your susceptibility lies in these non-coding regulatory elements to tell the genes when, where, and how much to turn on. So the innovation in, in the approach that, that we're taking is that we're trying to understand how genetic susceptibility is encoded in these non-coding regulatory elements across different disease-relevant tissues like pancreatic islets, skeletal muscle, and adipose. How might your research lead to development of new treatment strategies for type 2 diabetes? Yeah, so, so ideally what this is going to do is going to uncover uh, a, a link between genetic susceptibility in outside of genes and then the target genes that those genetic variants are actually operating on. Once we can establish this linkage and identify target genes, then pharmaceutical companies or other laboratories can go and design novel drugs that act on these targets. Right now, it's completely unknown what the targets are, and hopefully this research will make that bridge. Well, we wish you all the luck in finding that out, and we know you're going to be successful. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much. If you'd like to find out more about Pathway to Stop Diabetes, visit diabetes.org slash pathway. We'll be accepting nominations through July 1st, 2014 for the second class of award winners. Be sure to stay tuned to diabetes.org slash breaking news for updates, more interviews, and more from the 74th Scientific Sessions in San Francisco. I'm Rhonda Anderson.